It is the 6th of June, this 2016. I am Ralph Turchano here to cover with you the top three health headlines of the past seven days. Starting off with number one. Brief exposure to opioids may be contributed to chronic pain, otherwise known as narcotic painkillers, prolonged pain in rats. This is an important study because it has to do with morphine, oxycodone, and methadone, which are commonly prescribed. The study showed that just a few days of morphine treatment caused chronic pain that went on for several months by exacerbating the release of pain signals from specific immune cells in the spinal cord, meaning what you may take for temporary pain can actually prolong the pain way into the future over many months. When the injury was treated with just five days of opioids, the glial cells went into overdrive, triggering a cascade actions including spinal cord inflammation. The injury wasn't done to the spinal cord, yet the opioids caused the spinal cord to become inflamed. The implications for people taking opioids like morphine, oxycodone, and methadone are great since we show that short-term decision to take such opioids can have devastating consequences of making pain worse and longer lasting. Number two, fountain of youth dietary supplement may prevent and reverse severe damage to the aging brain. This was a study done in mice, so keep in mind it has to be replicated. A dietary supplement containing a blend of 30 vitamins and minerals, all natural ingredients, widely available in health food stores, has shown remarkable anti-aging properties, in their words, not mine, that can prevent and even reverse massive brain cell loss. The study in animals or mice but where they lost over half the brain cells, and the dietary supplements seem to reverse this uh, damage completely. The mice were fed the supplements on a small piece of bagel each day over the course of several months. No, it's not the bagel that did the job. Over time, researchers found that it completely eliminated the severe brain cell loss and abolished cognitive decline. decline. Again, to take from this, the study has to be reproduced and eventually has to be tested in humans to validate this information. Number three, dietary fiber intake tied to successful aging. As we continue with the trend in regard to anti-aging, research reveals they found that all the factors examined, which include a person's total carbohydrate intake, uh, total fiber intake, glycemic index, glycemic load, and sugar intake, it was the fiber, believe it or not, that made the biggest difference to what the researchers termed successful aging. In their quote, Essentially, we found that those who had the highest intake or total fiber actually had almost an 80% greatly likelihood of living a long and healthy life over a 10-year follow-up. As unglamorous as it appears and kind of rudimentary, it's kind of nice to know that something so simple can make such a tremendous impact. Just plain dietary fiber can have this much great effect in successful healthy aging. Those are the top three health headlines of the past seven days and I really hope to see you all next week and thank you very much for listening as always. Catch you all later on. Bye.